Good morning, YouTube. Well, after my last video, uh, where I did some penetration tests with my 32 Kentucky rifle, a uh, few comments were that I should try it with water jugs, or that I should have backed it with water jugs. So I decided I'm going to try it with water jugs. So I have four one-gallon jugs of water here, lined up behind one behind the other. And I'm going to shoot them probably a distance of about five to seven yards with the Pedersoli 32 Kentucky rifle to see if they go through all four. And if, uh, if not, how far that does go and what the round ball looks like when it's done. So again, it's the same gun, the 32 Kentucky rifle, 311 round ball, uh, 25 grains of 3F Schutzen with a tenth of an inch patch that's been bore butter. Same setup as before, same gun, same load, everything's the same. Just the target's different. And the range is a little closer, about seven yards, versus when I was shot in the trees, they were like 10 to 15. So I'm gonna try that, and I'm gonna see what the results look like, and go from there, and see uh, what comes out of this. Here's the results of me shooting the um, the four one-gallon water jugs with the 32 Kentucky rifle about seven yards away. 25 grains of 3F shoots and powder with a 311 round ball. Four, four one-gallon jugs of water. Here's the first jug. Now I aimed right for the black square and I hit just about where I was aiming. And it split the back of that jug wide open. Went through that no problem. Lot of traffic on the road by the range here uh, entrance hole of number two exit hole of jug number two you can see where it also kind of split that more than just a clean hole number three entrance hole and exit hole still almost pretty much if you look from front to back they're pretty much right in line there's almost no deflection till you get to number four Number four kind of went in. You can even kind of see a bit of a weird angle here. Now, number four, I had to peel the label up so you could see it. But you can just see the dimple right below where the label is torn. There's, I mean, you can make that out, but right just below where I pulled the label, you can see a slight dip pressure, or dimple. That's where it stopped. It did not completely penetrate the fourth jug. So, what about the round ball? Well, there it is. There's the round ball. This is what it looked like. It was the bottom of number four. And it is, for the most part, as you can see, still around. And again, these are soft round balls. I cast these out of old Hornaday 570 lead round balls. And because the, the one spot here, that's the sprue right here from my mold. You can see it right there. That top spot, that's the sprue from the mold. You can see, if you look, you can see some scratch marks and striations, just like when I shot the hardwood. You can see, I'll give a little better view here, but for the most part, it's still round, and it's still rolling, and there it goes. So, there you have it, YouTube. Um... Pretty impressive penetration for this gun. Four gallons of water jugs, and it went through three and just stopped at the back side of the fourth. Um, and it was pretty impressive to watch. So, for those wanting me to do a water jug test, there it is. And that's pretty, uh, that is pretty impressive. And that being said, YouTube, have a good day.